In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a material and apply it to some of the categories within your Revit project. Um, I'm currently in a 3D view, and I'm going to go to the Manage ribbon and select the Materials icon. All right, towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see uh, a tool that allows you to create a new material. I'm going to click on that new material. All right. And I'm going to go to the Appearance tab, where I will select a color for my material. Now, Revit has a number of preloaded materials already in your project, and you're welcome to choose those materials. Um, for this particular uh, demonstration, I just want to take a material um, that's rather generic without a lot of detail uh, or surface texture, apply a color to it, and then apply it to the components in my model. I'm going to use the Pantone colors for this, and I'm going to select a sort of orange color. Just keep in mind that you can always come back and change the color if you need to. All right, so here's my, my default new material, and I'm going to apply this and say OK. All right, now, so I have a material created and it's loaded into the project. And what I need to do now is to apply it to the categories that I'm using. So I have wall categories, I have floor categories, I have stairs, I have railings, I have columns. I also have a mass that you see with the slightly bluish color and that I will assign a different color to. But for the moment, we'll go and we'll begin assigning colors or the color that is uh, expressed through that material to the objects within the, the project. All right, so I'm going to go back to my Manage ribbon, and there I'll find um, something called Object Styles. I'm going to click on that. All right, so these are all the categories that are currently in your project. And what we need to do at this point would be to click on the Material cell and apply a material to it. So if I click on apply at the bottom of the screen, I can see that it's already beginning to change the elements in my model. All right, so again, I have columns, I have floors, and it already the floors already have a default floor assigned to them. I'm going to change that to my new material. Right, I have also stairs. Okay. Uh, railings. So the idea is really just to sort of suggest that all of these these components are have a painted finish. Okay, I'm going to apply the default material, the new default material to my walls, click on apply and OK. And that seems to have taken care of all the components within the within the view. Now the, the mass is going to uh, render in this sort of bluish color and my sky is also going to be a little bit blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, um, the characteristics of the material assigned to the mass. So if I go to my Object Styles window and I scroll down to Find Mass in the list, I missed it. Um, currently, it has a material assigned to it called Default Form. Okay, So instead of assigning a new material to it, I'm simply going to change the color of that material. So I go back to the Materials window and I look for a material called default form. Here it is, and as you can see, it it's, has assigned to it a bluish color. Now, I want um, I want to choose a color that is rather um, neutral. So I'm going to click on appearance here, and I'm going to click on color, and I'm going to shift to a gray color. Okay, and again, you can always make changes to this if you run your rendering and you find out that the color is not working. Um, and I'm going to apply that and say OK. 
All right, so it's already picked up this change because the material was already assigned to the mass components within the model.